Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slatter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars lore video. Today, we'll be looking at both Legends and Canon and covering everything that is outside of the Star Wars galaxy. And let me just get this out of the way. Yes, technically we're outside of the galaxy. I mean, the opening crawl starts with a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So presumably we are out there somewhere as well. Maybe some distance away because it seems like physics work quite differently in Star Wars. Anyway, with the obvious out of the way, let's start with Star Wars Legends. And I've talked about a lot of the stuff on today's video before, but I think especially with episode 9, now is a good time to sort of do a summary. And a lot of what we learn is in relation to Palpatine. We learn in both canon and legends that Palpatine had aspirations beyond the Rim. The Dark Empire source book actually explicitly says that Palpatine knew there were other galaxies out there and that those galaxies too were waiting for his rule. Vessels like the World Devastators and the Eclipse Class Super Star Destroyers were meant to be the instruments of his universal plan. But going a little closer to home, the Star Wars galaxy is orbited by seven companion galaxies. They're named from A to G in the Star Wars alphabet, with the two closest ones being the Rishi Maze and Fire Fist. The Rishi Maze is described as being pretty void of life and probably mostly used by smugglers. The next closest one was Fire Fist, and species from this galaxy actually attacked the main Star Wars galaxy shortly after the Battle of Endor, which I've covered in some other videos. Other than that, the five other companion galaxies largely have been unexplored, but seem to be relatively void of life and interesting things. However, even closer to home, we have many planets, star systems, and other stellar bodies, which are either very close to the edge of the galactic rim or actually off the rim proper, and thus extra galactic. A really good example of this would be the Psi Ruvi star cluster. They saw themselves largely as galaxy invaders and probably were most likely outside of the galaxy itself. There is some confusion because of the unknown regions, the term itself, actually does include some extra galactic space, and ultimately I don't think the distinction is very important. One system that was clearly outside of the galaxy was Camino, which is one of the reasons why the Camino cloners were able to experiment with cloning outside of Republic supervision, and why their clones were so much better than all others. We also hear of the Red Nebula in Marvel Star Wars 108, an excellent comic that I encourage you guys to buy, and it appeared in prior issues of the Marvel run. The Red Nebula actually drifted away from the main galaxy and was now in extra galactic space. I would be more than happy to cover that more if you guys would like some time in the future, but you might be wondering. It seems like going outside of the galaxy and thus away from Republic, Imperial, or New Republic supervision would be an attractive option for the underbelly of the galaxy. Why don't more people do that? Well, we learn through the Star Wars Atlas and books like the Outbound Flight that there is some sort of strange hyperspace barrier which prevents extragalactic travel. It's not clear whether this surrounds the entire galaxy. It's often portrayed as just running alongside the western edge, but either way, travel through is very, very difficult, if not impossible. For example, the Yuuzhan Vong managed to enter the galaxy through a gap in that barrier, which was known as Vector Prime. On that note, we also have the Crispin system, which was probably also off the galactic disc, and is where Candorous Ordo encountered the first Yuuzhan Vong scouts over 4,000 years before their actual invasion. Again, it's a little unclear clear exactly how this works, but we know that there is a hyperspace anomaly which generally seems to prevent intergalactic travel. My guess would be that you could travel into the intergalactic void for some time before actually encountering that barrier. Speaking of intergalactic void, that was the name for the vast distances between galaxies. We know that the Yuuzhan Vong traveled the intergalactic void for thousands and thousands of years, and when you read the New Jedi Order, there's actually some suggestion that they may have have fought enemies on their way to the Star Wars galaxy. The Vong themselves came from another galaxy, which obviously counts as being beyond the rim, and although supernatural encounters suggested that it might have been one of the seven companion galaxies, Star Wars Legends never
never really told us much about it. What we do know I've summarized in a prior video which I'll try to remember to link above. In another video I also talked about Riders on the Void, which is a 1980 Marvelous comic detailing a ship, which was a sentient ship and its pilot which came from another universe. Ship was very Yuzhan Vong-like in that its universe was consumed by warfare and of course it was an organic ship, leading some to make the obvious connection that they were the same. Nonetheless, that being's home galaxy would also count for this list. Anyway, we'll come back to Legends in a few minutes for some more weird stuff, but first I want to talk about canon. Canon actually keeps much of the lore pretty similar. We know that there's a hyperspace barrier, we know that there are other galaxies, and we know that travel through the barrier was extremely dangerous, resulting in destruction or potential madness. Nonetheless, there are rumors of mythical expeditions outside of the galaxy, we learn of some specifically in Bloodline, and we also know that Palpatine himself wanted to move outside of the galaxy and that he believed there was some sort of dark energy there. Presumably there will still be seven companion galaxies, we know that there are at least two from Attack of the Clones, and there's probably a lot more in this area to be discovered. We know that Exegol was in the unknown regions, there's lots of mysterious stuff going on, there's threats in this area, so I wouldn't be surprised if we learn about more stuff going on outside of the galaxy. But that's basically all we know. Returning now to Legends, there are also some areas that are, although not physically outside of the galaxy, still I think worth mentioning. These are mostly extra dimensional. We have, for example, Other Space, which seems pretty clearly to be the home of Waru. Given the fact that part 3 of the article, Imperial Warlords, a spoiler of an empire, specifically says that Other Space is the home of the Anti Force, which we hear about in the Crystal Star. Other extra dimensional locations include the Hell Hoop, Hyperspace itself. Places like Heaven and Hell should they exist, and in canon, the world between worlds. Legends also hints that the Nal Nal could be from another dimension, same too with other strange species, as well as various places from the old Marvel comics, like the City of Dreams. But that's everything that I can think of that's outside of the Star Wars galaxy. Did I miss something? Probably. Let me know down in the comments section, and I'll try to address it in a future video. Also, is there anything within this video that you'd like me to talk about further? Let me know that as well down in the comments. And also, I know I haven't done any hashtag ask at questions lately, so leave one down below and I'll get to it soon. Anyway guys, that's all I have for today. As always, have a great one, and may the Force be with you.